Well hi folks, uh, this is going to be one of the world's most boring videos. I got an order for about a thousand popped feet. Basically little stands to, to stand your uh, plant pots on. So that the drainage holes don't get uh, clogged up with, with soil. So what I wanted was a little circular disc cut into four triangles, terracotta. But he's ordered absolutely hundreds. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to, I'm going to make them all the same size and thickness so they all match. I'm making them all to the same, to the same size, the same width. If I make them to the same width, then obviously they're all going to be the same thickness too. But like I say, it's the most tedious order I've ever taken on. It's as simple as that, just to make a little, little circular flat disc it's really really easy but it's something to try I mean it's something you, if, if you're a real novice at pottery it's something you could you could perhaps make and you could actually use it dead easily in your garden so what I'm going to do now I'm going to do these wet I'm going to cut these wet I did a few trials and found this was the best way I'm just using a sharp knife I'm just going to slice through it to make four triangles and I'm not going to cut it off or anything I just left I'm just going to leave them on the bat like so and they'll just dry and just come off the bat perfectly just with a little rough edge around the edge I'll just do another one to show you how exciting they are and I'll just show you what they look like when they're finished which isn't too exciting either but uh, I suppose it's a good way of just practicing centering because that's about all it is really. It's just a piece of clay. Basically just centered. Just slowly drawn out. Have to go a little bit further. Like I say, really tedious job, but it's these sort of little jobs that keep things ticking over. So that's another one done, only another few hundred to do. And again, just simply with a knife, cut right through to the back. And then I'll just leave these to dry. And they do actually come off. I thought they might stick, but they don't. So there you go, there's another one. I'll just uh, I'll show you one. That's one I did yesterday. It's still drying. As you can see, it started to separate when it dries out. And then finally, that's what they like when they dry. They just come straight off the bat, so they're really flat on the bottom. And there you're left with your little pot feet that you put around your pot. And sit your plant pot on to keep the drainage hole clear so no, no, I keep saying clear, so no soil bungs it up. But there you go, that's just a dead simple way of making pot feet by throwing a flat disc and chopping it into four. Not very exciting, but it's another way of practicing uh, centering and something dead simple to do. So that's about it, folks.